So we're in the kitchen now, and I'm going to show you how I store um, the broccoli that we just picked, because it's unlikely that we will eat four heads of broccoli um, before this starts to wilt in the refrigerator. So I, um, I cut the broccoli up before I wash it, because I feel like it gets in the nooks and crannies a little bit better. I'm just cutting the florets off. And this broccoli is way overdue to be picked. Which might have a little bit of a bitter flavor, but I'm not going to waste it. And I'm just going to put it in my colander. You can save the stems um, for fra flavoring things like broccoli soup. It's just been so hot around here lately that I've not been in the mood for soup. Okay, and that's all of it. Okay, I'm going to wash the broccoli really good. And sometimes what I like to do is get a great big bowl. Soak it a bit and then use the colander as a strainer. I'm do that. Just filling up. I'm gonna give it a bit of a taste. Oh no, it tastes good. Maybe I'll set some aside for broccoli salad then. So we have everything we need um, to blanch our broccoli. We have the broccoli which has been cleaned and strained. This is um, a pot of boiling water and then in this bowl I have um, ice water with real ice in it. And I have this um, large strainer which has the netting kind of like miniature chicken wire. And when your pot is boiling, just add some of the broccoli. I think it'll all fit. Whatever doesn't will steam, which is pretty much the same idea. And the cool broccoli is going to lower the temperature of your water a bit. So it's turning that really pretty bright green. This will help keep the flavor and the texture kind of of the broccoli. Cover it and time it for a minute. Okay, once your broccoli has boiled for one minute, I'm going to take it out and put it in the ice water. That's going to stop the cooking process. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and just sort of drip dry. And then I just store it in labeled freezer bags. I 
And my favorite way to eat broccoli is sauteed with a little bit of olive oil. And I add some of our homemade jalapeno pepper jam. And it gives a little bit of sweet and spiciness to it. And then I put soy sauce and a little bit of peanut butter, actually. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it gives it like this Thai, nutty, um, stir-fry broccoli flavor.